Hello world, Dave here, and I've and I'm feeling nostalgic. Welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness 3, and I bet you're wondering what the didn't you just do a finale? Yeah, well the DLC for the for the Air of the Seamstress DLC dropped, and I figured time to give it a run through. Now I was gonna do that as a bonus episode anyway, since they're they have uh, they kind of had a little bit of foreshadowing. It's like, light all these torches and something special will happen. You do that before the DLC drops and this portal will just tell you, oh, um, it's not ready yet. Come back later. But now it is. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be going through this. And uh, in case you don't remember how to light all the torches, well, you have to get every class up to level 40. And I do mean every class. Yes, even the slacker. Tough, tough shit if you don't like using him. You're gonna be grinding on, uh, on, uh, on Molly for a long time. But let's just get into the lair of the seamstress right now. Hmm. Oh great! So effectively, they're gonna. So I'm guessing uh, they're gonna be maxing out our difficulty level for this part. And uh, also, yeah, we're all. Everybody's been dropped down to level two, so this is probably not fun. I'll, half the skills I loved weren't even like the high level ones. So let me see here. I'm gonna have to completely rearrange the things. Uh, Cordwainer really works. Dino Sorcerer, I think works there. I don't think Gabe can pull off being a tank here. So, let me see here. So, I feel like Hobo and, uh, so let me see. Hobo and what was the ma and Masochist. Those are both big physical attack ones, so we go ahead with, uh, S Scholar, Gentleman, and, uh, Elementor. Yeah, that seems about right. Gardener, well... Yeah, we'll leave for Cord Wainer, Dinosaur, and Gardener, and I have no idea what Delusion is. Apocalypse. Apocalypse was never useful. We'll just use Delusion is. Yeah, this seems like the best thing I can use, and let's see what comes out of this. Alright. Ah, uh, they're gonna have us fight all the classes. <laughs> and of course, we're fi fighting the dude. The dude of eyes. I mean, whatever. I mean, they, of course, they make the slacker look like uh, our favorite. Uh, one of our favorite characters, one of the favorite characters from any game here. So let's just go ahead with the, I guess, Velociraptor, First Blood. Yeah, sure. And, yeah, of course they're going to start us off easy by having us fight. If we're going to be fighting all of the classes all over again with all their skills, then this is, well, it'll be interesting to say the least. And we'll go Fire Slash? Probably not wear much. I could. And... Garden of Tranquil Waters will keep us up and running. Yep. So, I think we're off to a good start here. I have a feeling we're not going to be running into repeating too many repeating enemies here, so let me see here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call the hobo, and, uh... And go ahead with, uh, another Fire Slash, and I think, uh... No, he's not... No, who am I kidding? Let's just keep going going at it with her best magic here. Oh, wow, he actually attacks! Some slacker. Hey, easy fight. So, yeah, I'm getting... So, yeah, the... You, I can already see the gimmick playing through for this dungeon. We have to level up solely on the fights that are presented in front of us. And, yeah, it... So, of course, now all our... Classes are level 4, and... Hmm... I think I'll stick with this setup. I, actually, you know what? Let's see, uh... I forget what the... I forget what the crab... What the crab has. I have to like this one. Mm, yeah, it's enough to make it useful. So we'll just stick with Hobo. Well, it's nice for once that all the classes are going to be leveled relatively evenly. Yeah, right? Refight of the old Crabamancer boss. It's 
like the only character in the game that was actually a regular character. Whatever. Of course, now we have, like, a full team, and no ice, no, wait, was it fire that we use? There will be against here, right? Eh, yeah, whatever. Started off with the... And, let me see, elements or fire slash, and we should be in good order. Fire it. Yep. Wait, that magic shell only protects him against physical attacks. Why was that resisted? I mean, against magic attacks. Eh, whatever. They're gonna be fooling around with us like that. Eh, not gonna argue. But anyway, this is a... I mean, if this is just gonna be a refight of the battle fight, I think we'll be mostly in the... in the okay here. It's just unleash with our strongest attacks. This is... And let me see here. Light on elemental. Revive. Yeah, we'll just have to use... No, that's gonna be resistant, so we'll just use this. Right? As long as we keep have, keep Dark Blasting, I think we'll be in the clear, if anything. So let me see here, and the... Uh... So let me see, she still has... Well, I could probably get an Interrupt, sure. And... That gym does not have enough HP to do that. So we'll just, uh... Oh yeah, Garden Tranquil Waters. And... This should be an overall... I, I'm convinced that this is going to be an easy fight, if anything. There's really... We really don't have anything to truly worry about here, so we'll just go ahead with another... Velociraptor transformation, and... Just keep punching him. Unfortunately, it's, that seems to be our best... Our best attack, our best plan of attack here, since we don't really have anything to really bring it up. Just keep, keep. I mean, if we have to level up solely off of these fights, I think we're just gonna have to make do with what we're given here. So, and oh yeah, I forgot I had items. This is probably gonna make things a little cheap. Yeah. All right, so if we have to learn, relearn all these skills again, there's really... I really can't do much about that. Hmm. So let me see here. And... Yeah, I think we'll stick with this setup. This seems to be working fine. Eventually we'll hit something better, I guess. I'm really not digging elements over there, so that's why I want to put something else on. Eh, you know, a tube samurai is a good all around. Uh, and he is a good all-around character, so uh, we'll go ahead and put elements on on Jim since he's the mage. All right, and we also have some shrine maidens to deal with, so yeah, uh, without any good uh, area of effect attacks. Well, except for the nail later. This is gonna probably make things a little too easy. Why'd they even give us the later? I guess maybe they didn't expect us to find the damn thing. Yeah, well, whatever. You're probably gonna be. That's probably gonna be what the majority of these fights are gonna be nil later, nil later, nil later. And if I have the gentleman here. Oh! Okay, so this is gonna take two nil laters. Alright then. <laughs> this is a. There's no way there's gonna let us just ride on nil later all the way through. Let me see here. We go up and around here, and we get get out of this chest. Softest gloves. Hmm. I wonder how they compare to... No. I mean, those are... I mean, the concept's cute, but no. No, you're not, make, you're not turning him into a mage anytime soon. Although we could probably go ahead and reorganize things again, and, uh... Not yet, not yet. We'll keep him on up for now. Because, yeah. That gives him some strength up. Because he's good at punching things. That's what he does. Alright. Oh, and we have to fight Ho Big Joe. Hobo Joe again. It's a... I guess I can understand them reusing some of these items. 
some assets. It's not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. Alright. And so let's just start off with... Were we this level the first time we fought Hoko Joe? I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. If... Whether... No matter whether or not that was the case, I think we'll be mostly fine here. So let's see. Tax stance? And I think just uh, throwing the throwing magic at him should be a good start. And we'll go ahead with drop the truck garden. Right, some nice constant healing. I mean, it, maybe I should be making Gabe Tycho the pure support here. Yeah, whatever. This is my this is my problem here. I decided to go wide commentary for the apartment. Uh, whatever. So let me see here. Keep going with Soul Edge. It seems that was always a big hitter. No oh, reasonably big hitter. And he's weak to fire, if I remember correctly, so but probably resistant to being flipped with hoboism. At least this time we don't have to worry about special conditions. And let me see here. Ba -dip, ba -dip, ba -dip. Oh, Jim's actually about to be knocked out, so maybe to throw a heal his way. And actually, yeah, we'll damage. We'll kill him with damage over time. That always seems that seems to be the best, our best bet. And you know, how much did? How much damage does Molotov do? I mean, he's weak to fire, so it's just, if I remember correctly, yep. You could probably just kill him with Molotovs, honestly. I have a feeling when they were de designing this, they weren't expecting the items to be a big consideration. Yep. This is, which is actually going to be a little bit of a disappointment, now that I think of it. Scholar, Gentleman, Goth, Partner. That sounds like a good mix, and... And yeah, we'll do Delusionist. Yeah, this seems like a strong setup, if anything. Alright, so fine, we're gonna be facing these guys? Alright, well... I'll just go ahead with the old nail lighters. Because I doubt these guys have enough HP to... Yep, survive one nail later. It really does feel like they didn't balance this bit around items. Around the items that you get at all. Which is probably gonna be a... Which will probably be a bit of a problem, if anything. So let me see here. Let's see, we'll start off with a bootstrap, and then we'll. Hmm. And yeah, and just start inflicting as much damage over time as possible on him. I feel like that's a good start at all. So let me see here. Spite him, and let me see. And throw up a garden of tranquil waters to keep our HP going. And now, it's just a simple matter of time of uh, just pummeling his face in. Probably mostly with the uh, nail lighters. Because it, that's a... Because the damage does because the damage is probably a, a little cheap right about now. Just a little. In fact, actually, let's see how much. Yeah, three nail laters is enough. I'm sure we'll just knock him down. It really does. I mean, this is probably one thing that they should have considered a little bit when designing the new enemies, but I guess they didn't want to make them too. I guess they didn't want to make this too hard. I'm just, I'm just babbling on right about now. And what 
things in here. Uh, Reliquary? Hmm. Alright, so uh, Jim could use a new urn, so why not? Eh, uh, not quite. I mean, I would like the extra speed, but no, he needs to. He's a mage! He's a mage through and through, and we will, shall we use him for that? Alright, and Elementor. This is probably going to be the harder fight, if anything. Yeah, I... So, let's see here. Go ahead with the... Start off with Bootstrap, I guess, and then we'll... We'll keep going with the... We'll keep going with the current damage over time scenario here. Bootslap. Dash, rape, slash, and uh, all skeleton. Yeah, this is probably gonna hurt. And Quick bit and repairs there, and I think this is definitely gonna be. It's gonna be a tough fight. There's no doubt about it. This one's probably gonna be tougher than the last couple. Let me see. I'll just throw nil later. It's not elemental, I think. Alright, and should be able to get in a double tap, I think. Before he before the elemental gets his turn in. Yeah, there we go. Any chance of delay is a good chance, I'd say. Alright, so we'll go ahead and Fight him, and we'll just keep going. Just keep going. Keep him, keep him as down as possible. I say this is probably our best bet here. And just as long as I keep. And yeah, nail later doesn't seem to do any elemental damage, so it should be fine for taking him down. And let me see here. He's. He's got, this guy's got a lot of HP for what we, we're dealing with here. Alright, so... I guess we'll just... Uh, well, Molotov probably won't work, dude. Well, we'll give it a shot. We're out, we're out of nail later. Well, we still have one more nail later. I guess we can do that. And... Nope. Nope. I guess we'll just, uh, throw RTF at him. Alright, so we're, it seems to be our best plan of attack here. We just gotta... We got him. We get... We've inflicted as much damage over time on, on him as we can, so... Oh, wow, I did not realize how... That I saved up enough, uh, MP to hit him with Breakthrough. Should be pretty... Should do a good number of damage. Yeah, there we go. He's... I think we've got him down. We got him on the run now. I think. So, let me see here. And, uh, Dark Blast? Uh, I think a Dark Blast might. Or the Skeleton. The Skeleton works, too. It's funny now how it's actually not telling us we gained experience. It's telling us how we gained levels. I just noticed that right now. I guess... Keep things simpler? I mean, the game did just... When they released the DLC, at, it, it was released at the same time as the uh, as the Android version, so I guess that would make sense. Yeah, well, now let's look at Crabble Dancer here. Yeah, this seems reasonable, if anything. I think we can go back to the tanky setup. And Tube does have speed, but not defense. Stance. Oh well. The it's I'm still no convinced that this is a good all-round setup. If anything. Oh, uh, Leviathan again. Oh, it's a uh, joke, Leviathan from, early, from earlier. Oh, we know how we're gonna be dealing with these guys anyway. Oh, the... 
well, so, so far, and, and, last floor. Well, last fight of this floor, if anything. Oh god, three at once. Oh, got a regular healer tank page combo going here, so this is, uh, problematic. I was expecting to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one fighting. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just, uh, keep... We're just gonna have to go for Augusto. At least, uh, that would be my best way of putting it, because I have no idea who's gonna... Well, just... By go for Augusto, I mean just keep tossing Nil later, because that's gonna be our best bet. Yeah, it should take out the jumpman really relatively quick, and... Actually, yeah. Three millilators. Whoa. Okay, so this is actually turning out to be much harder than I expected. So, go ahead and repair Jim real quick. He was about to throw out another millilator anyway, so. It must decay with the. Da or either that or these gum. Or the elements are just learns to resist it after enough, after enough hits by it, so. Either way, let's just get at our defenses rolling here, because this is going to be a much harder fight now. Well, it's probably going to be easier now that we took out the other two, but... So let me see here. We'll... Double tap. And that should be, get us off on the right foot here. A uh, heal two on... Jim. There we go. He's back in a good spot right about now, so let me see, I'm curious, yeah, he's got a lot of HP, this is probably going to take a bit, so let me see here, there we got Hexoskeleton going, so try snipping, snipping him a bit, and maybe do a trans transformation here, alright, so, I, it was a tough start. We had a tough beginning, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, I feel like we are right off to a good start here. Hmm. Boost magic? Boost? I'll just do the heal all thing again. And... I have no idea if he resists dark magic, but... We'll give it a go! Let's, uh... Okay, uh, you know what? Let's keep throwing. It was, it was going to be resistant, I knew that much, but I figured it's worth a shot. And I did not see how much damage that did. Normally that's a lot more visible. I don't remember having that problem before the DLC patch came. No, the expansion patch, whatever you want to call it. So let me see here, and... Uh, mental note, don't try the damn... Triceratops transformation again. I'd forgotten what that did. It's been so long since I played this game. It's been like a couple months at least. Yeah, well, took care of those three, so I'm... And we're on to floor two here, and oh dear god, we are not dealing with more girls on fire, are we? Eh, fine. Well, at least this time we have the Nilla later! Yay! Nilla later! Because that seems to be the answer to everything, rather than having to deal with umpteen million pyroclasms. Uh, you're new. Wear Shrine Maiden. Okay. Well, I. Well, again, it's like at this point in the game, it's like. Why use anything other than the nail later? So, I think we're off to a good start, and, hmm, that bill looks suspicious. Masochist, of course, he's in an Iron Maiden. Well, this, this should be a dangerous fight for everyone involved, I'd say. So, let me see here, we'll start off with the Exoskeleton to just keep up defenses. Uh, Warren can slow him, so... 
will do that. We'll dark search. Actually, no, we'll spite him. And then we'll go ahead with a fairy. And we'll just start with the classic uh, with our just standard yeah, with our standard salvo of dealing lots of damage over time because that seems to be that seems to work relatively well if anything all right and cord winger no this oh oh yeah we'll, we'll have to save up for that and too bad I can't well I guess I can't do that well Bootstraps for a turn, and then T-Rex will come in. So, yeah, this seems like a... Su this shouldn't be too hard. Let me see. Defense stance. Alright. Already used the... Uh, pinch map. He already used the... If I recall correctly, he already used the other thing, so... I think we're good. So, let me see here. Dark Surge. No, don't have the MP for that. Spite. Fireball? Well, if we're gonna use fire, we might as well just use Molotovs, honestly. And... Yeah, we'll break slash him. Yeah, he resists me. Of course he resists that. So, huh. This is actually a very... interesting setup I think we have going here, but I think... should be... Ouch! Yeah, I can probably see this fight not going very well if we're not very careful. So, this... Hmm. Sadly, he seems to... He's very resistant to damage, so I feel like we need to find some outlets to help us. He also has a lot of hard-hitting attacks because that's what that's what the, that's what he does. All right, but I think we're weathering the storm well enough. I think we got the the skill. Everything that we need is doing all right. And I think we just need to be a little bit more careful. I'd say. I think that that seems to be doing the most damage out of everything that we could be doing, so... And yeah, Dark Surge. And that stuns him for a good for a good bit. We should be... Should just take this time to just blitz him with the hardest hitting spells we got right now. He really resists that. apply slow for now. That seems to... That'll do enough for later, but let's see right now, and I... Huh. Well, if I have to keep applying for Pinch Max, that seems to be a best bet at actually doing anything around here. And... You know what? Fine. We'll keep going with the T-Rex transformation. That seems to be doing the most damage out of everything that we have so far, so... Hmm. Doom? Yeah, I guess. This guy is very resistant to damage in general, so... This is definitely a hard fight. Wish I had... Too bad the... Too bad we don't have the max level elements or skill, because that, that's actually very... That's very handy, just... It actually... Since it actually reduces elemental resistances, so... See here. Well, guess our best bet is just to keep keep doing what we've been doing. We really don't have anything else that is actually helping here. So, although I could probably afford to, yeah, well, probably the wrong way to do that, honestly. But and. Eventually, yeah, he... 
we seem to have him on the run enough that, yep, yeah, next couple attacks should do him in. Even if I don't happen to get in a, another pinch max. There we go! And... I'd like to go ahead and, well... You know, it's just a cool column. We've dealt with these guys. Three of them. I forget. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this isn't going to be a simple 3-0 uh, later round. Although, that probably would not be a bad, I bad way to start this. Actually, probably come to think of it. Alright, that should be that should give us a solid start, if anything. So let me see here. Yeah, we, should, we can finish off the rest of these guys with uh, with no with no with no problem whatsoever. Just need a couple of. Berserk? Probably not. Don't have anything that actually hits on everyone, so I guess we will just uh, try Berserk. Of course, that's going to be heavily resisted, so let's see. Jim needs another MP there, so... Uh, yeah, we'll throw Energy I Gateway, and then... Lizard, and I think we should be... I'm trying to think, what did I have? Oh yeah, it's just Berserk that hit all enemies. I don't even know why I'm using that, I can just punch in that. That's Berserk. Ow. Ow! What the hell? That was just bad luck, and I think we'll... And I think I know what's gonna come next. My inevitable demise. So we're just gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh! No, that's still probably not gonna be enough. Yeah, there's no way we're surviving this, so, uh... Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm gonna keep trying at this, uh... Next episode should hopefully not end with me dying. Thank you very much. Until then, I'm Dave. Remember to keep, keep your clothes neat and tidy. Take care, everybody.